Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching this video. As you guys can tell, um, I'm having a bit of a down day. I haven't put in a lot of effort in how I look, so I just can't be bothered today. Um, so in today's video, I'm going to be doing a hamster cage clean. Um, as some of you know, I did recently buy the Living World Eco Green Habitat. I think that's what it's called. It's got like a really long name. Living World Eco Green Habit, I think, yeah, I think that's what it's called. And I bought the size medium and it works perfectly for my hamster. So I'm gonna be showing you guys how that has held up after the first clean and do like a little review on the damages and stuff after the first time cleaning it out. I spot clean my hamster a couple times a week, but then the whole bedding, when I take out the whole bedding, I only do that once a month. And I do leave some of the old bedding in there because hamsters can get quite stressed and I don't wanna completely like switch everything out because she might you know not like it which would be fair enough I wouldn't like it if someone did that to me I hope that you guys enjoy the video Is that? That's her little nest. Cute. So after I've taken everything out, I just put the bedding in the bin bag. And this always takes ages. So this is the bedding from the old lot that I'm gonna keep in. So I'm just gonna put it in a bag and save it so that I can clean the cage. plastic or something not wood it's just gonna get damaged okay so let's assess the damage so this is the first time I've cleaned this cage since I bought it looks basically all right apart from a tiny little spot right there and a bigger spot 
there, which I'm pretty sure is pee and poo. Um, it's definitely stained, so clean day it won't come out. That's fine. I'm probably gonna have to get a liner. That is the bedding that I bought. I think what I'm just gonna do is try and fill it up with so much bedding each time. I mean, I already had quite a lot of bedding in there, but like, you know, have like loads so that she doesn't really, she's not really peeing and pooing right on the bottom. And um, another thing that she's done is right over there, she has chewed that corner to shit. Like, let me show you. It's almost flat. So can you see that? Yeah, so she's chewed that quite a lot, which is really annoying. I'm gonna have to block that somehow because she just can't chew it that much. If she chews it flat, then the, the sides are gonna come off. So yeah, that's the damage. Not too bad, to be honest. put a bunch of Timothy hay in there as well just to sort of hold down the burrows a little bit better and give her some more like textures and smells and stuff is so soft you guys so that looks good now I'm gonna start putting everything back first off I'll put the chamber box in there she loves her chamber box man she really does Is really like bouncy. And finally, I usually just sprinkle some of these Camps to Save herbs on there. Gives her more sort of natural behaviors, foraging for different things, and she does like them, so I'd recommend these. And um, for some reason, she really likes this chew toy in her chamber box, so I do that. She's like, where am I? She's like, oh my God, what is this new bedding? It's so soft. It's quite dusty though, not gonna lie. It says dust free, but it's definitely dusty. <laughs>
I'm having so much fun just watching Ducky in the new cage right now. She's fully burrowing. She's never done that before. Like she starts digging, she started digging down there, then went all the way around and came back up here and I could see her on the side. And it was so special because I've never, she's never properly done that. I think I scared her. But yeah, no, she's really liking the new bedding. Like I can already see a change in her behavior. Um, So yeah, basically the bottom is clean and cozy KT bedding. It's extremely soft. It's a lot dustier than it says on the packet and mixed in with about like a third bit less of her original bedding. So I have this chew toy here, another wooden chew toy. This rock basically is a rock that I found outside. Uh, I think it's a flintstone and uh, don't worry, it's completely sanitized and clean. I just thought it would be interesting for her for like a different um, texture and she does actually like it. She like sits on it and looks out sort of like a meerkat. It's really cute. And then here I've got another sort of home chew toy thing and I've got another one in there that's sort of a tunnel. Over here is her sand bath which I will clean. I'm just gonna do it after to filming but it's in like quite a large glass baking tray and I would recommend using those as sand baths because I really wanted to give her like a huge sand bath and then beneath that is her chamber box if you're in the UK you can buy these from Zoo Plus probably one of the highest recommended hamster products you can buy in my opinion so this is what it looks like she really loves it. She spends all of her time in that hole down there. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section, but I'm pretty sure that in Germany, it's mandatory to have a hide like this in the cage because it sort of recreates their natural burrows in the wild. Like houses like this are like, okay, but she doesn't, if I'm honest, she doesn't really use any of the other hides that I have in here for her apart from this one, which is fine. I'm happy for her to do that. Let's put that back on Put that like that. hopefully that holds so that's that part over here is her 28 centimeter Trixie rodent wheel again I would really recommend these wheels they're so easy to clean they're perfect size the hamster honestly loves it and it's really cute to hear like her sort of pitter patter rather than like <coughs> like squeaking of a plastic wheel. If you guys don't know, Syrian hamsters need 28 centimeters or 12 inches minimum for a wheel. And dwarf hamsters, I think it's eight inches minimum. Uh, over here is just a strawberry hide thing. She doesn't really use it. Um, and I've put the millet spray up like that so that it sort of recreates her natural behavior. So she has to like pick it off, which she does enjoy doing. Over here is like egg carton and I sprinkle treats in here and she has to like work to get them out. So it's sort of like a, I created my own like foraging toy, I guess. Over around here is just a corner hide. Um, this over here is a homemade platform. Uh, if you guys want to check out my video when I make this, you can get the link above. Yeah, it was really easy to make. As you, you can probably tell, it's like the door of a drawer, chest of drawers. And it actually worked out very well in my opinion. I'm very proud of it. Um, I've used this bendy bridge as a ladder to get up. Up here is just a coconut hide, another chew toy, her watermelon food bowl and a mineral lick thing. Again, she doesn't really use it. I bought it like ages ago and I've just, I just put it there, why not? Um, up here on the lid as well is a hanging, another hanging chew toy, which she loves. She's completely gone to town on it. And under the ledge, I just have a straw hut. Yeah. And I've got quite a lot of bedding in there. So that's about 10 inches, I'd say. Yeah, enough for her to like fully make burrows and like have a really good time. So yeah, that is the cage so far. I mean, I still have some plans to buy a little bit more things. It still feels like it's not quite busy enough, but you know, I try my best. So yeah, that's the cage. Just to give you guys a bit of an overview, this is what the cage looks like with the lid on and the hanging chew toy and the water bottle stuck up. So that is it for me today guys, thank you so much for watching, I really hope that you enjoyed the video. Please comment down below what kind of content that you want to continue seeing from me, whether it's rats, hamster, 
art. Yeah, just let me know what you think. I haven't been great about the posting recently, but I hope to get at least one video out per week, um, starting from now, starting again. So yeah, I hope that you guys stick around for that, and um, hopefully I'll see you then. Bye!